Hello fellow DigiDestined, welcome to another special episode where today I will be reviewing the Digimon Pendulum case. I've had my eyes on uh, this for a while, but I finally pulled the trigger on this one because it was the last purple one I found online. There's only about two sellers online right now, uh, and they're pretty healthy in price. I mean, they're cheaper than usually an actual pendulum, but they're still pretty costly. This one cost me $49.99 uh, US dollars. That's a lot. I mean, I mean, I guess this is pretty old, over, you know, 20 years old almost. Um, and you might not be able to tell, but it's pretty faded. The packaging is pretty faded. But, yeah, let's get to it. So, packaging is pretty old. Uh, here's the back. Apparently, it was $33, wherever from. Oh, uh, yes. This one actually came from Hong Kong, too. There's one seller from Hong Kong right now, and I think there's one seller from Thailand. This one was, came from Hong Kong. It actually took less than two weeks, just a little bit less, maybe a week and a half only. So I was surprised at how fast. There it is. All right, here's my pendulum. My uh, pendulum version 5.5 Metal Empire with my Venom Iotis Man. All right, let's take it, crack, and open it. So I mean, the tape's pretty much worn off already. It doesn't really stick to the it's open, so. I'm not sure if this is brand new. It's said it's brand new, but we'll have to see. So take that out. I'll set that over here. And there. And then, yeah, here is the case. Wow. I mean, I guess it looks pretty, does look pretty new. I mean, there's not like any, a whole lot of like buffs or scratches on it at all. Let me take a look. I mean, I, I don't know what it, I don't know what I'm expecting. This is my first pendulum case. Um, this is the first pendulum review that I can see on YouTube, because there's actually not a whole lot. See on the bottom there it says Digimon case with some designs on there. Top also says Digimon pendulum with kind of a, sprint, uh, a sparkly purple on there. And you can see there is actually a cover in front there, open for the buttons we expect. This is probably, you know, for the chain to come out. Got a hinge for the cap opens. And yeah, that looks pretty good. It looks like nice quality. It's got an okay shape, I guess. It's pretty light. I mean, I don't know. It looks like a little ledge, so you might want to be careful about using it too much because it probably wears down eventually. But yeah, let's open it. Oh, man. Oh, there he goes. Wow, that. That was a bit sad. It kind of broke off already. And then, let's see. I'm doing this behind the camera so you can see. Alright. Oh, chain goes in. Alright, how's this going? Let me take a look at it. Okay. Oh, well then. Well, that's kind of crappy. So you can see, broke off already. And then, which means it doesn't hold it in directly. It's kind of tough to put it in too. I like, had to like really like try to kind of put it in there. And of course there's nothing holding it in now. But, as you can see, it looks pretty nice though, aside from that. So I guess why these, I can see why these weren't that very popular. Alrighty, uh, aside from that, I'm just gonna break it off. I'll try to glue it on or something later, make a replacement if I can. But yeah, here's the case. Uh, the chain comes out here. It was really hard trying to get the chase, the, uh, the keychain through and fitting it in there. The buttons, it works. Uh, makes it a bit harder to press though. It does make it, the top and the bottom ones make it a bit harder to press. And then if you ever wanted to battle somebody, you would have to open it, of course. And then, then you can then you can like connect it and then fight each other. But otherwise, you'd have to close it. But I mean, it does shield that you know part, it shields it from dust, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty slick, I think. Assume, aside from that part. Uh, I guess I'll just maybe tape it down 
keep some spare tape on me, you know? Uh, yeah. I guess, I mean, being 20 years old, plastic doesn't hold its quality as much. But it is very sad. Oh. So, yeah, there is my 2018 review of this Digimon case. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.